<laughs> CPUs, witness my true power! I'll crush that ugly mech suit like a soda can! You'll know my true rage and regret crossing me! We mustn't kill him. We need to make this little birdie sing. Is it time to begin? Start filming us, my lovely Mr. Rat. You got it! Don't get careless. Let's get serious. Now then, what to do? Get down! <laughs> what shall I do to you? I'll take good care of you. This is Time. I can go any time. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Freak. If you can dodge this, Impudent. prove it! What shall I do to you? Impudent. There! <laughs> My turn to attack! Here I go! Huh? Impudent! Impudent! <laughs> Take that! Get ready! Eat this too! Impudent! Anytime! Don't get in our way! Weak! Weak! My turn! Pop 
Reporting live from Louise Basilicom, this is Neptune and... The Lovely Noir, presenting you this empty husk of a man! I'm so sorry! <laughs> I have shamed my name! I apologize for my life! <laughs> I can't hear you, bitch! Say it louder! Couch! Please, don't shout! <laughs> How dare you try and impersonate a human, you swine! Get on all fours and squeal! Ah, stop! Please, stop kicking me square in the spleen! No! To summarize, the junk that went down today was all the Seven Sages' wicked scheme. And now, we go to Miss Noir for some freshy fresh commentary. Um, okay. It might look like we're coercing a confession, but what he's saying is the truth. Actually, it's probably too late for me to ask, but is it really safe to broadcast this? I wonder. Mommies and daddies of the world, cover your spawns, eyes, and ears real tight. Um, it's way too late for that. Hey, rat! Turn the camera off! At least let your fallen comrade keep his pride, please! <laughs> if you do that, dear rodent, you know what will happen. Oh man, sorry, chump, but I'm Lady Plutia's loyal servant! That's a good pet, especially when compared to this filthy pig. Ouch! Stop! Please don't pull out my precious remaining hairs, strand by strand! It hurts! I think that's enough. I can't believe I let this jerk-off pull my strings. How pathetic of me! You... you mean you're done torturing me? Oh, thank the gods of business. Oh, you're tired of him already? In that case, I'll just keep toying with him as I see fit. No! Um, so, even if we gotta force her, shouldn't we stop this? You're right. This brings the Seven Sages Emergency Apology Press Conference to a close. Hey, shitheads at home! Don't you even dare doubt my badassery ever again! If you do, expect the same treatment this blowhard got! hi -ya! Ya! Ah! Someone save me! A bunch of stuff happened or whatever, but I guess we wrapped up all the loose burritos. Good job, Blonnie! Um... Thanks, Plutia. And you too, Neptune. Don't even mention it. That's right! We're friends! Aren't you forgetting to thank a certain someone? No way in hell I'm saying it to you. You! <gasps> well, it's not like I wanted to hear it or anything. Hearing it would make me puke. The hell was that? Ah, play nice. Wiggle man. They were like this in my world, too. Before you know it, they'll be best of pals. Like, like how, how we, we will. will. See? They're already singing the same tunes. You'll see. If I get serious, Last Station won't even be a blip on my radar. Don't bother to come crying to me, because it'll be too late. You'd make a great hair dryer blowing all that hot air at me. Just don't ruin Louis again. Pretty big damn words for a newbie. You're so loud for a has-been. Um, now that you mention it, even when they're arguing, they sound like good friends. They're like fire and ice or cookies and couscous, so this might take a while. Wanna go home? I bet Isti's all lonely and pouty and stuff by now. Sure, we can't waste all our time at the nursing home with this old has-been. Bye-bye, Blonnie! But, wait! Hmm? What is it? Um, I'll be busy restoring my nation for a while, but... Huh? Maybe 
When I do get some free time, maybe I can come see you. Maybe? Okies! Come whenever! Really? Your word is your bond, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bond away! <laughs> That's good. Oh! Hmm? Huh? What's up with your face? You jealous, Professor Noir? Did Blonde just steal Plutie? No, I don't care. Plutie would never be better friends with some has-been than she is with me. There's no guarantee, Missy. I mean, Plutie is totally having fun talking to her. But I always get to hang out with Plutie, so that doesn't really matter to me. Oh! Plutia! Don't just stand around talking! We're hurrying on home! Uh, don't tug on my sleeve. Oh. Um, bye-bye, Blonnie. Time to kick ass at my job. Oh yeah, I sleuthed something about you today, Plutie. Hmm? What did you find out? When you went all Sadie today, you were kind of nice to Blonde. You think she's real cool, huh? Was she? I guess I noticed it too. Just a wee bit of compassion came through. Um, well... Blonnie was crying at the time, so... Sure she was, but Sadie's usually all... <laughs> Tears make me randy, isn't she? You're not the type to feel sorry for someone after you've transformed. Oh no. She was crying, and her face was super cute, and... and... Huh? It was... super cute? So I thought, if I act nice at first, she'd cry even harder later, and it'd be even cuter! But uh, I don't think that now. It was just in the heat of that moment. Note to self, Sadie is a truly dangerous beast. I wonder what Blonde would think if she knew. Don't you dare tell her! I don't like her, but even I'm not that evil. 